What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dave B. You're watching Dave B on TV. We'll go beyond that everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day to day basis. And today, I want to talk again about perspective and shit like that because perspective is, um, I don't know, like it's just been kind of popping out to me and shit like that. And like, I have a, a bunch of videos talking about perspective and shit because, you know, everything really does come down to perspective. We all viewing things from our own individual space and shit like that. But, you know, re really what it is is like, you know, the better. It's like we gotta realize, like, like this kind of like the, the 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 benefit of mutable energy and how to use mutable energy. Because what it is is there is power in knowing how to um, of 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 knowing or having multiple ways of attacking a situation or circumstance. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's power in that. And that's the power of the mutable signs. It's having multiple ways to attack a certain situation or circumstance. So, that's something that, you know what I'm saying, we got to keep in mind and shit like that. When it comes down to it, it's like, get more creative on your perspective. Because, see, a lot of times, especially if you have a lot of fixed energy, it might be extremely difficult for you to get out of your own way of seeing something. But the better and the more creative you can get with different ways to see a situation or circumstance... This gives you the access to more angles. When you got more angles, you can have higher angers. I say angers. Angles that can go and approach a situation in which now, you know what I'm saying? That's that's when we start talking about archangels and shit like that. And like, you know, having like like when we when people talk about like the higher self and shit like that, having a higher self and you know what I'm saying, different things. It's like that's really what it's about. It's like having uh higher thoughts, higher mentalities, mentalities that can go above different things that a lot of people might get stuck on and lost in on the bottom level on the bottom tier and the bottom tier be like trials and tribulations this you know disgruntled energies frustrations things of that nature and shit like that you know what i'm saying so when you able to have a higher mentality over different things in that nature this this adds flexibility to your spirit because your spirit really is about adapting and, and changing the many like you know what i'm saying your, your spirit is always changing your spirit is like that's the one thing that's inevitable even down here is transformation your, your spirit is constantly going through different things constantly inviting chaos into your life in order to initiate new changes and expansion and shit like that your, your spirit is constantly expanding and contraction and that's what the fuck it be on you know what i'm saying so that like so when it comes down to it it's like a lot of times if you find yourself kind of in a tough situation and Especially if it's like a rock and a hard place situation and shit like that. It's like you want to make sure you like, like start to use some more of that mutable energy. Start to. It's like that's good for like it's like sometimes we got to meditate, right? Meditate in the sense of like, you know, we know the proper way to meditate, which is basically clearing our space, clearing our mind. You know what I'm saying? Clearing our space so that we can have clairvoyance when you're doing that. This also allows you more space to have different perspectives, more space to have different ways to approach a situation, more space to have a clear idea over, um, you know what I'm saying? Because when our mind is cloudy and shit like that and there's too much going on or we're too fixated on a certain result, we might not be able to even fathom things going a different way. We may not even be able to, to conceive or perceive um another way of going about something just based upon everything that's already on our mind so especially if these things is involving stress and right now you know we're dealing with um virgo energy so like that worrying energy we can get caught in the cycle of worrying but not actually using that virgo energy in the way it's supposed to be used where we are because virgo energy uh i was saying i don't know if it was in that last video and shit like that but like with virgo energy it's about you know it's still mutable earth so even though it's it's like sometimes it's like a lot of times people get it mixed up where they'll turn that mutable earth into fixed earth or they'll make it too dry aka you overthinking about a bunch of details or about a bunch of uh, shit um but you're getting stuck in it when you overthinking about the same things over and over again it's like you getting stuck in that fixated way and it's like you still be immutable because you're thinking about all the different details of a certain thing but you then let it get cemented to the point where now it's like those details that you're trying to that you that you've been participating with those details that you've been going through and shit like that you you letting it solidify to the point where now it's, it's becoming more fixed earth than mutable earth and so there's not enough fluidity for that shit to keep passing through aka for you to 
have enough space to where it's like it's not becoming overwhelming. It's like you just allowed yourself to kind of bombard yourself with all these damn details and shit like that, but you don't let it sit and get cemented. So now it's like you 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 worry this causes health problems, this causes different things like going on in the body and shit like that. And now you you know what I'm saying? Now you feel anxious all the time and shit like that because you allowing this mutability to get fixated and get too stuck and shit like that. You're not you're not you're not allowing enough space in between the uh, pores to actually have fluid motion. You know what I'm saying? So it gets all mixed up and confusing. You know what I'm saying? And so it becomes you know a little destructive and shit like that. And so that's that's that you know that's that's taking that energy and, 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 and inverting it. You're inverting the uh, Virgo energy. But for the most part and shit like that, like I was saying before, like so perspective and shit like that, like a lot of times it comes down to just being creative on how you see your situation. So that's why a lot of times it's like it's good to just kind of take a step back. It's like we all got to take a step back sometimes. And that, that that's what you want to do as you're meditating and shit like that. You're clearing that space. But through that clarity, the purpose of it all is so that when you do come back to a space where you have to make a decision, it's less of a uh, situation where you're. Uh, clouded, you know what I'm saying, you have a clear perspective, and you can create, like, basically that shit opens room for you to be more creative for new ways to look at a situation, aka new ways to attack a situation, so just keep that in mind, you know, perspective, everything really comes down to perspective, it's about how you're seeing things, and that'll, that, that'll, that'll determine how you feel about them, you know what I'm saying, because if your perspective is always fucked up, everything you look at, you're gonna have a negative feeling about them. You're going to have a, f a fucked up feeling about a lot of things. A lot of times is determined purely by your perspective. You know what I'm saying? And it just took someone having a creative idea or a different thought, a higher angle to approach a situation to get them out of something that, that somebody else could be stuck in for eons and shit like that. But just because they they wasn't creative enough or they didn't clear their space enough to have a higher angle or perspective, or, uh, a fresh perspective on it. You know what I'm saying? And like that goes back to that Virgo energy too. When you overanalyze something, you start to fall into a routine and pattern of how to see it. You don't actually expand yourself into seeing anything outside of what you overanalyze it because you overdoing it. You know what I'm saying? And so with this Virgo energy, you know, it's easy to get into that habit. You know what I'm saying? So be careful not to overanalyze shit. You know what I'm saying? And whenever you find yourself overanalyzing to the point where you frustrating yourself and you can't come to a conclusion, then you know it's time to take a step back and develop a fresh perspective in order to have a different angle to approach a situation. You know what I'm saying? And um, if the way you're looking at something is depressing you, then it might just be time to change how you're looking at it. And that, 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 that that's easier said than done but that's part of the process as well changing how you see it in the first place because changing how you see it in the first place is going to change the different ideas you derive from that space aka you know just like how i'd be talking about states of beings being in certain states of beings invites different thoughts and feelings to to hit you and so if you always looking at things with a fucked up perspective that's the space your spirit be in so your, your space is always going to be attracting a lot of negative energies or a lot of energies that make it even harder and more complicated to get out of whatever circumstance or situation you're in. You created your circ circumstance or situation, so why make it harder for you? You know what I'm saying? You already you already created it, but you know that just comes with overanalyzing and, and, and looking at things. You know what I'm saying? Looking at things being in a, in a fucked up state of being, but it, you know, it gets hard. Like I said, it's easier said than done because... A lot of things that we end up participating in or put ourselves in be shit that we be looking at like, how the fuck I get into this? You know what I'm saying? How the fuck I put myself through this? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but, you know, and that also comes with not being too hard on yourself. You know what I'm saying? We all experimenting in this motherfucker. We all trying new shit in this motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? And if you're not, you're playing it safe and you're not growing. You're not expanding. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing out here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that, that's all I wanted to say, really. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, get creative. You know, get creative with how you see your circumstances and situation. Um, you know, really for the fixed signs, you know, be careful. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it'll be extremely hard for y'all to get out of how y'all see something. But then at that point, you got to ask yourself, am I just being stubborn? Do I stubbornly want to feel the way I feel, which is negative? You know what I'm saying? Do I stubbornly? Because sometimes that'll happen where, you know, you might just be clinging on to certain things and being stubborn on it just because it feel comfortable. It feel more comfortable to be disgruntled. It feel more comfortable to be argumentative. It feel more comfortable to be in negative spirits. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something you got to keep in mind and shit like that. But anyway, much love and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.